Exactly. Yep, you gotta try and coach them while you're going. So as they're coming down, you're trying to space them out and coaching. Hey, try and swim left, try and swim right. Try and get them spread out so that the inset guy grabs the inset loop and the outside guy grabs the outside loop. Good. Our Okay, once the system is built, uh, then we have retrievers on this side, this receiving side for this line. So you want to make sure that you got guys over with good reaching devices and good throwing devices. Make sure you position down river throwers as well. One other uh, caveat to this or option to this is if you have a really broad expanse of river and you can't hit it with a messenger line, a line gun, anything along those lines, this is going to have to be a boat-based advance of this line. So this is where you're going to put the tail of the rope into a craft, let the watercraft motor over across the river, establish that anchor point, and then while you're tensioning in on this side with the MPD, the watercraft is, is navigating or ferrying across the river, hanging all the stringers, and then they can be just downriver from this grab line to pick up any victims that don't catch the grab line. we got to make sure that we're coaching well from this shore. You don't want the inset victim grabbing the most inset uh, handle because he's going to wipe out the whole string. So you got to make sure that you start co coaching them early to try and swim right, swim left, swim towards me, whatever they seem to respond to, to get them lined up so that they'll try and take these stringers uh, in a row. There's other variables on this, uh, but you got to be careful about um, creating a snag point like we talked about earlier. So you can't hang cargo nets from this. You can hang other applications that give you a broader capture point. Just be conscientious and not completely barricading off the river. You want to make sure the watercraft and, victim, or, and rescuers can travel through this without it becoming a big hindrance. So the set height on this is good. It's high enough that a craft could pass under here with guys flattened out. If the lines or the grab lines are enough above the water that you're worried about a victim getting to them, just simply vector the line down when the victims are coming in and that'll get the your handles kind of bouncing across the top of the water. Let the victims get a good grab on it. Yep. 